Legendary Pokemon are awesome. They have immense power rivaled by few, and it takes an experienced and talented trainer to control one. The Pokemon franchise has come a long way since its early Gen 1 Legendary Birds and Mewtwo, producing many exceptional creatures over the years that have awestruck and terrified fans. So today we're going to be counting down a list of Legendary Pokemon who have not only blown our minds, but freaked us out quite a bit by their capabilities and general aesthetic. This is our list of the top 10 scariest Legendary Pokemon. Number 10, Zapdos. While Moltres and Articuno have a majestic quality to them, Zapdos with its sharp extended talons, its long beak and pointed wings, tail and head, look like the kind of thunder type Pokemon you would never want to run into on a dark and rainy night. When Zapdos flaps its wings, it releases electricity that can potentially cause thunderstorms, as well as massive crackling and snapping noises. It sheds lightning bolts, people. Pretty darn scary. And at number 9, Mewtwo. Now, go ahead and call us Gen 1ers, but for many of the fans of the Pokemon franchise who grew up when the series first hit the scene, Mewtwo was one hell of a horrific Pokemon. Now, for starters, it was a man made legendary Pokemon. It has a horrible and tragic origin story, and it boasted a vengeance towards humanity that was unheard of in the Pokemon world. It was our first taste of how tremendous power doesn't always mean glory, as far as the anime and the first Pokemon feature film were concerned. Now, the games players find out from the scientific logs that the partially destroyed Pokemon. Mom Mansion on Cinnabar Island, what exactly went wrong with Mewtwo, along with the horrific gene splicing experiments that it underwent. You eventually find it in Cerulean Cave after you are victorious at the Indigo Plateau. And that's just Mewtwo. It now has two mega forms that are arguably within the top strongest Pokemon of all time. And let's be honest, Mega Mewtwo Y is utterly terrifying to look at. Moving on. And at number 8, Solgaleo. From generation 1 to generation 7, here we have Solgaleo, who, quite frankly, is pretty darn badass when it comes to aesthetics. But just like a lion in real life, you wouldn't want to get close to it for fear of it maybe biting your head off. Or another limb. Anywho, it's a psychic steel type. It's 11 foot 507 pound Pokemon, and it's the emissary of the sun. Its body holds a vast amount of energy, causing it to shine with light when it's active. It's known as the beast that devours the sun, which, all things considered, really articulates just how powerful Solgaleo can be. And at number 7, Zygarde. Zygarde is the first of a handful of dragon type Pokemon we have on this list. It also is a ground type, which makes sense considering its snake aesthetic, or at least for its 50% form that is. Now, over 16 feet in height and weighing approximately 672 pounds, this Pokemon has multiple forms, like several other legendary Pokemon on this list do. Except Zygarde's are all based off of how many cells it's gathered. The form we're specifically looking at today is its 50% form. Here's where it gets freaky though. According to its Pokemon Y Pokedex entry, it's hypothesized that it's monitoring those who destroy the ecosystem from deep within the cave where it lives. <laughs> and if that did scare you enough, here's its Pokemon Sun entry. It wipes out all those who oppose it, showing not a shred of mercy. So that's swell if you manage to catch a Zygarde, but not so much if you're on the receiving end of one in a battle. Yikes. And at number 6, Q-Rame. Q-Rame is a dragon ice Pokemon, whose height is approximately 910 feet. It's a generation 5 Pokemon who is capable of generating a powerful freezing energy inside of itself. Now according to legend, it can be hostile towards both humans and other Pokemon, eating them if it found them outside at night. Yup. Also according to legend, it's an extraterrestrial Pokemon, and its yellow eyes have no pupils. Adding to the whole, I'm gonna crap my pants if I ever saw you aesthetic. And at number 5, Rayquaza. Considering the immense size of Rayquaza, if you ever saw one in real life, I'm fairly certain you'd probably think the world is ending and the apocalypse is nigh. Rayquaza kinda has that effect on people. At 23 feet tall and 455 pounds, this dragon flying type is from the Hoenn region, and prefers to spend most of its time high above the ground. In addition to that, rumor has it that it's hundreds of millions of years old. Something with that kind of longevity, or immortality rather, is not not to be taken lightly. Plus, its mega form is one of the most powerful Pokemon, if not the most powerful Pokemon to ever existed. And to be in possession of that kind of power alone, well, that's pretty freaky. Those uh, tiny little eyes aren't helping matters much either. And at number 4, Type Null. Type Null is a synthetic Pokemon who falls into the normal type. It's one of the few legendary Pokemon known to evolve as well, evolving into the much less scary looking Silvalli. Thanks to one leveled up with a high friendship stat. Here's something that should give you shivers though. The contraption on its head is actually a piece of equipment to control its latent powers. Now, according to its Pokemon Moon Pokedex entry, due to the danger that this synthetic Pokemon may go on a rampage, it wears a control mask to restrain its power. When it was created by the Aether Foundation, it was codenamed Beast Killer and was developed with cells taken from all known Pokemon types. Now you'd think by generation 7, scientists would have learned a thing or two about messing around with the genetics of Pokemon, but uh. 
Guess not. And at number three, Giratina. Giratina is a ghost dragon type, so obviously it made this list. If there was a horror Pokemon movie, Giratina would star as the terrifying ghost that kills off a bunch of teenage trainers. Take one look at it. Coming in at approximately 1,653 pounds, this is one Pokemon you do not want to mess with, especially considering it was banished to the distortion world due to its uncontrollable violence. Plus, take one look at its origin form and try to not see a dragon centipede. Yep. Stuff and nightmare friends. A generation 4 Pokemon, it is said to have gazed upon our world from the distortion world, silently, and can travel through dimensions. It's highly aggressive and territorial, and it often appears in cemeteries. So, like I said, horror movie Pokemon. And at number two, Eviltal. Eviltal is like the reverse atomic bombs of Pokemon. Its whole shtick is that it has the ability to absorb life energy. When it reaches the end of its lifespan, it expands its wings, steals all the life energy of every single living thing within a certain proximity of it, and then transforms into a cocoon, sleeping for 1,000 years. But that kind of power comes with immense responsibility. Being able to put an end to so many lives in just one flap of its wings is a massive deal, something that Team Flare took notice of, and once tried to harness that power and make it into a devastating weapon. Standing at 19 feet tall and weighing 447 pounds, Evil Tall is a dark flying type. And aside from its sheer power, it's pretty darn scary in terms of physical qualities. It's got those long red wings and tail with black highlights and long claws that curve inwards. <sighs> Imagine those, those just like touching you, like grabbing your back from behind and you don't even know it. Ugh. And number one, Necrozma. Necrozma is a prism Pokemon, a psychic type that looks like it crawled right out of our nightmares. Out of all the legendary Pokemon, Necrozma is the biggest enigma found in the Aloha region. Its name's etymology is pretty dark too. It's a combination of the ancient Greek word for dead and the word for black and another ancient Greek word for prism. Its ultra form is believed to be based on giant stars or supernovae, with its main form playing on the idea of black holes, black dwarfs, light refraction, and neutron stars. And just like space, Necrozma is straddling the line of downright awesome and absolutely terrifying. According to its Pokemon Moon Pokedex entry, light is apparently the source of its energy. It has an extraordinary vicious disposition and is constantly firing off laser beams. Sounds like one hell of a way to get dead real quick. Now, according to the Ultra Sun entry, it looks somehow pained as it rages around in search of light, which serves as its energy. It's apparently from another world. All in all, pretty creepy. Alright, there we have it friends. Do you agree with our picks? There's still quite a few terrifying and crazy powerful legendaries that we didn't include on our list, so if you guys want us to do a part 2, give us a shout in those comments below. Speaking of comments, here's some from our video Top 10 Best Sonic Boom Episodes Part 2. From Robert the Dude, Top 10 Sonic Videos This Channel Made. Actually though, that's an honest to god list we could totally make. From Sunny Paws, I just hate how Tails flies in a plane. He can already fly. <laughs> Welcome to Sonic, the franchise made up of redundancies. And lastly, from Stephen George, Lucy McPhee is cute and has a British accent? Must not watch and get hypnotized by such major cuteness. Must subscribe to cuteness. Yeah, here she has that effect on people. All right, that's it for now. If you'd like us to potentially read out a comment of yours, be sure to drop us one below. And while you're at it, if you dug this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. We'd love it if you stuck around some more. In the meantime, though, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.